Hello everyone. You're welcome to FUCO Mathematics. Here we provide solution to math um, problems. And now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 80. x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equals 80. This is um, not that difficult. But then the first step is to bring this. Okay, so we we'll have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 80 equals 0. Now, if you look at these three terms, nothing is common to the three of them. But this middle term here, we can break it into two. Okay, so we'll break it in a way that we'll factorize and have some common factors. Okay, so now this middle term here, which is x to the power of 2, can be the same thing as minus 4x to the power of 2 plus 5x to the power of 2. So if I put this in place of this, I can now factorize it. So I will have my x to the power of 3. Remember, this right here is just to explain, right? So I have my x to the power of 3, then minus 4x squared plus 5x squared minus 80 equals 0. Now, in this case, we can now group this and factorize. x squared is common to these two. So I'll open bracket, 1x will be there, then minus 4. If I go ahead, 5 is common to this two. So 5 is a common factor. Then I have x squared minus 5 into 80 is 16. Then this is equal to 0. Okay, so we took this step just for us to have common factors. But now we still don't have common factors, so we are going to simplify this again. So we have x squared into x minus 4 plus 5 into x squared minus 4 squared. Remember, 16 is 4 squared, right? Now, we'll apply difference of two squares here. So we have x squared into x minus 4 plus we have 5 into x squared minus 4 squared is x minus 4 into x plus 4. And this is equal to 0. From here now, we have common factor x minus 4. So it's going to come out as a common factor. Here now, we have x squared plus here we have 5 into bracket this x plus 4 because this is already out okay we equate and everything is equal to 0 we equate everything to 0 now let's open the brackets in here so we have x minus 4 then we have x squared plus 5x plus 20 equals 0. Now, what do we do? We are multiplying two terms to get 0. So, it's either x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this right here is equal to 0. So, I will deal with this first. x will be 0 plus 4 on this side. So, our x is 4. This is a real solution to the problem. But then we are going to get more solutions from this quadratic equation. I'll write it here. We have x squared plus 5x plus 20 equals 0. So we will use quadratic formula for this. 
and the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a so our x will now be b this b becomes minus 5 right then plus or minus this is because our b is 5 so that minus b now becomes minus 5 then we have square root of b squared which will be 5 squared minus 4 times 1 because 1 is the coefficient of x squared and that stands for a right so we write 1 multiply by the c which is 20 so I write 20 over there, divide all through by 2 times 1. Now, let's take a step. Our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus 5 squared will give 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20 is 80. This is still over 2 because we are multiplying 2 by 1 to get this 2. Now let's continue on the other side. Okay, so we have our x to be equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 80. And this is over 2. Okay, let's continue. So our x is minus 5 plus or minus. 25 minus 80 will give us minus 55, right? So this minus 25 is still over 2. Now, we cannot get square root of negative 55 with our calculator. Let's pick out this negative. So x will now be negative 5 plus or minus square root of 55 multiply by square root of negative 1. So whatever we have here will be divided by 2. So our x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus. This square root of negative 1 is the same as i. So we'll multiply the i by root 55. And then we divide by 2. Remember, this is a 2 in 1 solution, okay? In, in fact, let me get the three solutions down here. The first is x1, which is equal to 4. Then we have our x2 that is obtained from here, which is minus 5 plus or minus. Okay, we are picking positive alone this time. We have i root 55. Everything divided by 2, okay? Then we have our x3 to be equal to minus 5 minus i root 55. Okay, so everything here is divided by 2. Okay, so these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.